Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you very quickly how to create your own rubric for grading in Canvas. I have another video I'll link in the description about using those rubrics so you can go look and see how amazing it is and how much you would love it and why you would want to create one. But today I'm going to show you how to actually create one from scratch. So in your Canvas course you have to already have your um, assignment created. So you've created the assignment. I'm going to click on that assignment from my dashboard, from my modules. Now, I think this is strange, but you do not want to edit this assignment. The assignment is done, you've already created it, and you do not want to go into edit mode. Instead, you're going to roll down. Towards the bottom, you'll see this button that says add a rubric. So you're not in edit mode, you press add a rubric, and you are automatically in creation mode. Like you're, You are creating a brand new rubric from, rubric from scratch. I will say, before we move on, this is the setting that you will love. This one right here, I don't know why it's not a default setting. Use this rubric for assignment grading. When you click that, that means that Canvas will do the math for you and add up all the points as you grade. So you don't ever have to do math again. So I know uh, maybe English teachers will love that. Maybe math teachers. I'm a math teacher. I love having it do math for me. Um, so you want to make sure you do this setting if you want to do math for you. And then right here, the title of this rubric, um, whatever you need the rubric to be called, now you have one kind of category right here. You probably want to hit the, the little pencil there. And maybe you want to say the voice of your essay, whatever the description of this category is, you can give it more details there. Now it defaults to give you full points or no points. Now you can of course hit this pencil and change anything about this. So I could say maybe you want to change full points should be 10 points or 15 points. You may say that this is, give it a title, and you may say, um, give it a description of what that would mean, like, um, something of that nature. So you, you tell them, you know, what the name of this performance level is and what that means. Now, I think I just, I'm mixing voice and audience. Don't judge my English skills. Now, if you want, of course, you want more levels than just awesome or terrible. So when you hit this little plus right here, it will try to guess how many points you want that to be worth. Um, and again, you will give it a, a title and a description. And you can, of course, keep adding, pressing that plus. Now, what I will say is, once you have one of these rows done, like you have, you know, all of your details about your your voice, um, then you want to move on to your next category by saying add more criteria. What I tend to do is I like to just duplicate the one that I just made. You could start from scratch, but once you've got the, the your point set up, I tend to say I'm just going to duplicate the one I just did. Gives you a chance um, to change the description. And then you can just go in and change kind of what your just what these descriptors are. You have your points already set up and, and your name. So I, I tend to use my duplication a lot, but you can always start from scratch. Now you can just add as many of these as you want. Um, and you can just go as crazy as you can possibly want to. Give it as many different criteria as you need for your rubric. Now this is really terrifying. Please don't forget to press create rubric, which seems kind of strange because you feel like you just created it, but this is your save button. If you don't press create rubric when it's done, you've lost all your work. So when you have everything um, set up and you have all your points and all your categories, make sure you press create rubric. Now, that's your save button. It will give me this message here. I had the assignment set up to be um, 50 points, but my rubric only adds up to 15. And so do you want to change to match the rubric or just let it be different? And I always say, just change it to match my rubric. And so now this thing is a 15 point assignment because that is how much my rubric would have added up to and you are ready to roll. So the only terrifying thing is you need to make sure that you always hit save, or sorry, create rubric. I would have called the button save. Um, and then when you go into speed grader, that thing will be waiting for you if we have it set up um, with that setting to do the math for you and you are ready to grade. I hope you enjoy grading with your brand new rubric.